DNS security best practices for your home. DNS is one of the ways that people can actually attack your internet in that when you have malware installed, often it hijacks the DNS and sends your requests to go to certain sites to go to certain other sites. And so one way that you can limit the possibility of having badness happen is to use the not a non-standard DNS and configure your DNS manually rather than automatically. I like OpenDNS.com as a solution because it offers the ability to filter my internet. And I know you're thinking, Brandon, you're a big boy. Why do you need internet filtering? I need internet filtering because there are malware sites that I would prefer not to go to. And I can make sure that sites that are legitimate don't get hacked and send me to those places. So in my open DNS, I've gone through and added a whole bunch of sites that I don't ever want to have redirects to, have JavaScripts run from, and other kinds of things. Um, one of the most common ones was that a forum that I used to visit for information about security and some of the black hat SEO information so that I could see what people were doing was monetizing their site using live Jasmine pop-ups that would launch fully explicit naked people in the background. So I blocked all of Live Jasmine using OpenDNS. I also use OpenDNS for debugging some stuff where I want to know what happens if something loads too slowly or times out and it's often easier to change it in my OpenDNS than it is to change my LM hosts file on the local machine. Also, by using OpenDNS, I can set shortcut rules for some of the mistyped things that I often use or some of the things that I don't want to type in the full address. OpenDNS supports shortcuts, so I can say whenever I type in webmasters, I go to Google Webmaster Tools rather than going to you know Google searching for Webmaster Tools and clicking on the link. And I know a lot of you say, well, you should just bookmark it. Well, you know what? I type faster than I find bookmarks. And so for me, and I've got so many bookmarks that it just isn't practical. It's easier to say, this is my client's name, click, and I go to their site. Or this is my, the tool that I'm trying to operate, and I click and I go to the site. And so the shortcut settings are very nice. And then it transfers them anywhere that I'm using OpenDNS as long as I've configured that as one of my network points. And so my shortcuts follow me from wherever I'm going. So for that reason, I really like OpenDNS in terms of being a way to make both my home browsing experience faster, more secure, and more reliable. OpenDNS has never had a full-on outage if you set both your primary and your secondary DNS to them, which is something where Comcast may be down because of its DNS and things still work if I'm running OpenDNS. So OpenDNS, great best practice if you're trying to optimize your home security, speed up your network, or want to do a little bit of internet filtering.